Hi folks, Dave here, AF5DN, and today I want to talk to you about broadband ham net. I'm going to be uh, going out and doing some experimentation with uh, my setup here today, and I thought I'd take you along for the ride. Now, if you're not familiar with uh, broadband ham net, I recommend you go to uh, broadbandhamnet.org and read through the information on it. Essentially what we do as we take these older Linksys routers, uh, there are some other uh, brands. This was the primary one because they're extremely easy to get a hold of and relatively inexpensive. And you flash the firmware on them and then you can mesh these together using amateur radio frequencies and because we are now operating the amateur radio range we can use uh, better antennas and even possibly a little bit more power if you decide you need to do that. Now this is a uh, Linksys WRT54G. Now I want to caution you not every one of these that you see, if you go to eBay not every one of these that you see will work with the broadband hamnet software or firmware. So if you're interested in this, go to broadbandhamnet.org webpage, download the list, and it's in a PDF format. Uh, what I did is I just sent it directly to my handheld, my uh, smartphone, that way I can carry that PDF with me in case I go to uh, flea markets or garage sales or something like that. They have a list of the serial numbers, model numbers, and revisions that will work. And that's very important because you don't want to waste your money buying something and getting it home and realize it won't function. Now this one here is uh, going to be my portable unit and I've rigged up a, uh, a connector with a, uh, a cigarette lighter charger on one end and then the appropriate uh, link says connection on the other. I've got a Ethernet cable that I'll be uh, plugging into my laptop and I'll be taking these two guys things out on the road uh, probably not very far from the house <laughs> but this is an experimentation day now what I'm going to be doing is connecting to the more permanent installation that I have here in my office let me change the camera here and I'll show you that just a little bit Okay, so here's my, my little setup. This is the uh, Linksys router that I'm going to be using. And I'm going to come down here a little bit. I know it's the sun in the, in the background is kind of hard on the camera. But I've got the, uh, the manufacturer's antenna. I've got an external cable antenna here. I also have uh, two connections into the LAN. And this is WAN. This is actually connected to my home network. Uh, which is firewalled and uh, connected as a gateway to the internet. Now over here I have another WRT54. Uh, this is a version 2. It cannot connect or it cannot be flashed uh, as a node. However, <clears throat> it does allow me to use my laptop wirelessly. I connect to this and then can get onto the node through this guy here. Now I have flashed this with uh, DD Wirt and I'm able to control the output power and I have turned the output power fairly far down. This little guy back up in here is a Windows 2008 home server. It's what they call a coffee cup server. It's fairly small as you can see. Uh, it has approximately two terabytes of data storage. It's currently set up as an IRC server and a uh, FTP file server. So even though we may not have any use for that today, it was sitting around and I rebuilt it for that function. All right, let me show you where this, uh, this little antenna here goes. Okay, as you can see, I got a little cable there that comes right up here to this Yagi. This is a 2.4 gigahertz Yagi and I've just got it attached to the balcony here. This piece of PVC, I just painted it flat black so it would kind of blend in. Um, and I have this kind of aimed off uh, towards a friend of mine's house, which I believe is probably too far away for me to actually make a connection to. Um, 
but I'm going to be doing some experimentation uh, myself here. All right, before I get uh, started here too far, I'm just sitting out in front of the house, and this is kind of what I got setting up. <clears throat> and I know the sun has got to be killer on this video. But I got the, uh, the access point sitting here, and I got my laptop over here, and you see I've, uh, through the, uh, the LAN connection, I've been able to get my ham net uh, up and running. And if we look at the mesh status, let's see what we get there. And uh, this is just sitting out in front of my house. I'm on the back side of the uh, directional antenna, and there's my home mesh and look there's the home server it's seeing that also so I'm gonna quit this now you can go to this Wi-Fi scan this is uh, actually pretty fun and it's just going to uh, scan all of the local Wi-Fi connections that are uh, available and you can see here my broadband hamnet is way down the list now look there's the uh, there's the home router and there's the uh, the router that's uh, or the Wi-Fi unit that's actually connected to the broadband ham net. All right, let's uh, let's drive a little bit and see what we can come up with. All right, so I'm about five block, five houses down on the back side of the uh, of the antenna, and uh, you can see it's dropped way it's dropped completely off. So let me stop this and see if we still have a uh, a connection. Yeah, it says we do, but we're at 66%. Let's drive a little bit further down the road. I'm going to put this into auto mode. All right, let's drive a little bit. Okay, so I'm a full block from the house on the back side of the antenna, and I've got a connection, but it's about 13%, which is, you know, not all that great, but, uh, but I'm on the back side of the directional antenna, so let's, uh, let's do some more driving. And oh, by the way, that, uh, that connection right there would uh, give me probably a internet connection off the broadband ham net down here at the park. I'm actually rolling down the road here and uh, I'm on the front side of the antenna actually and I'm about a block away actually I'm about two blocks away and I got about a 57 percent connection. However that uh, that antenna is up kind of high maybe overshooting me a little bit so I'm hoping if I get a little bit further out I'll be uh, better shape all right well uh, kind of disappointing I uh, still have no connection and uh, my house is like way right over there and I'm kind of sitting in front of the structure that antenna should be looking directly at me and uh, so I don't know maybe the the cheap Chinese Yagi isn't working quite the way it should but it's about lunchtime I think I might take a drive over towards my friend's house and see if his nodes is working. At the very minimum, I should be able to connect to it uh, within a block or so. Let's uh, go for some more driving. All right, so here I am over at my friend's neck of the woods. I'm not exactly sure uh, his exact address, but you can see here, oh, look there, another one just popped in there. I have been able to connect to KC5 ONZ2 of his. There's another one that's only 6%, but I'm not entirely sure what uh, that one is. So let's, uh, let's see what we got here. If we click on this guy here. All right, so there's old KC5 ONZ2. Okay, let's... Uh, Status. Yeah, 5DN3, that's me, so I'm looking at his mesh status. Let me go backwards. <clears throat> I'm 
not sure who this one is. Let's take a look at that one there. Turn off that. So obviously the mesh node definitely works. Um, I just drove up, it found the mesh, it, mesh, it, it made the connection. Well, that one must not be a strong, quite strong enough signal. We didn't connect to this one. Let's connect to this bad boy here. There it is. Mesh status. All right, so it works. Maybe not as good as I thought it would, but it works. Okay, so here's what I found. The broadband ham net software or firmware the functionality of its ability to mesh works perfect i have some work to do on my antenna situation obviously i'm going to pull this uh, yagi down and uh, check its soldering connections it is a cheap chinese yagi not that uh, that necessarily means it's bad but it's worth checking it out and i'll have to do some other uh, experimentation with some better antennas on the mobile side but this is just my first trial so if you're interested in broadband hamnet i encourage you to go out there to their website and read up on it uh, i think you'll uh, i think you'll find it a lot of fun that's it for now thanks for watching i'm dave af5dn